to all those who devoted their lives to aviation. The Wings of Russia Studio presents Wings of Russia documentary.
view of the wartime assault operations, especially those in Normandy, where an enormous number of assault gliders were used, influenced the creation of similar machines in the USSR. That's how C-25 glider designed by Pavel Tsibin and Yak-14 glider of Alexander Yakovlev appeared. While the first of them could take around two tons of cargo on board, the payload of the other was twice as much. A spacious cabin allowed Yak-14 to carry two trucks with cannons and automobiles, what no other aircraft on service at that time could do. In the growing confrontation between the USSR and USA in the 40s, the Arctic region started to gain a lot of importance. Exploration of the polar areas could hardly be achieved without the transport aviation. In spring 1948, a high-latitude expedition on Lee-2 aircraft took place. Two years later, a unique operation was performed. Aircraft towing gliders went toward the Northern Pole. They were carrying cargoes for the development of the iced takeoff and landing strips in the region. Such airdromes were supposed to become a hub for the long-range bombers flying toward America. At that time they were the main means of the nuclear weapons delivery. TU-4 became the first Soviet carrier of this kind with a range of 5,000 kilometers. The range was important for the transport aircraft as well. Although TU-4 was soon substituted by a jet aircraft, it continued its career in the transport aviation. In 1955, bombers underwent refurbishment into TU-4D assault version. 29 paratroopers prepared for parachute landing take their places in the front and rear bomb sections. Since internal volumes were insufficient, special cargo cabins were built and suspended under the wing. Loaded cabins are carried under the wings. Here is how they are dropped and the troops leave the aircraft in one move. The TU-4D deficiency was in its dependence upon airdromes with good pavement and a long takeoff and landing strip. It also had limited assault capabilities. Interesting enough that from the beginning Tupolev offered Air Force an assault version of TU-4, TU-75 with a capacious fuselage. However, at that time, long-range bombers and jet fighters were a higher priority and the aircraft was not put in production. 